Okay. The new materials are my seventh uh, inspiration, including this, they call it the new generation, the fifth, the fifth uh, treasure of the stud study, and our artist studio, our scholars studio. Do you know what the other four are? Excuse <coughs> me. No? Never heard of it? Oh, yes. no, we all know. You all know. <laughs> Yes. Okay, the, the four treasures. Four treasures. The, four treasures. Yes. Yeah. the paper, the brush, the ink stone. Ink stone, ink, and uh, very good. So this is the fifth treasure, fifth treasure of an uh, artist uh, studio called the water um, writing paper or uh, class, or magic class. You can see in the past you have to practice this uh, on a brick. On a on a tile, on a what? Brick tile, tile. Oh, on a tile. Br uh, brick tile to to develop this. Is. And my teacher uh, told me he when he painted the bamboo, he painted on panels of wood, something like that. It can show when it's wet. Um, to practice, you can also paint, uh, practice on newspaper. To just yeah, yeah just uh, to get used to. Uh, to know that your 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 brush, your 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 brush stroke, right? Things like like that. So this takes the pressure away. You can reuse. You will disappear, evaporate in a in a minute, and you can do it again. Um, so if you're interested, I can show you five strokes. Maybe that's helpful with uh, your your painting. Uh, yeah. Now we have. Um, I have some customers, like uh, the museums or the educators, teachers, they want to show students with a large scale, so we now carry this. It's a brand new product. Uh, you can get, but without the guides, I can show you on large scale. You don't have to come to the front to, to see it now. Okay. So I can show you the strokes on this. This is a large magic cast. Now I use a larger brush so you can see. You hold the brush like this with the three fingers, you know that, right? Um, grab the brush with the index finger and the thumb and then push, pull the brush back with the middle finger and then um, your ring finger resists that from inside. So that's how I hold it. And the small finger put it behind the ring finger, uh, so the brush is holding vertically. If you hold the brush this way with three finger, you cannot do all the moves. Because this way I can, I can do a circle, I can twist the brush when needed, when, my, when I bend the uh, stroke. Let me show you. So the first stroke you need to know is the drop of, uh, I mean a dot. You, you go from, you use, let me see, it's not wet enough. Okay, you use the natural tip of the brush to make sure the tip is pointed on the palette before you uh, write. So you, you use pressing and then pull back. The pull back makes the end smooth. So the, the tip has to travel all the way not not just the halfway. If you if you do it wrong, it's like that. You know, I try to. You you got a like a rough. So if you turn around and then pull back, you got a like a speech mark. So you understand? A speech mark. Yeah. Quotation, quotation, quotation mark. mark. Quotation mark. Okay, this stroke is a very fundamental. Actually, you start from a, this, a dot with any other stroke. For example, the horizontal stroke will be a dot, pass, okay? And then I consider all these are dots, 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 and then bigger dots. Pull back. Yeah. The bone stroke. The bone stroke, yeah, are all composed of dots, right? 
And uh, well, and and Henry, one time I learned that the bone stroke is much more, much stronger and better if it has just a slight curve mm -hmm. in the. Yeah, I, I, it's not a, uh, like a dash. Right. This is a dash. It's different. <laughs> yeah. So you, you you can see the the curve. It it kind of goes up and then. Uh, goes with a you know with a with a stop at the end with a dot so a dot to start a dot to end so when you paint you when you draw anything you should hide the tip it, it you should hide the tip in the end and in the uh, beginning that's a, that's a very important uh, concept to hide to tuck in the tip of the brush so you go you start from the air uh, the movement and start from the air. Uh, let me do another stroke here. It will be the vertical one. So you, 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 you see, I, I kind of, kind of hide the tip in the. So I have this circle thing. The, in, in some um, illustration on the on the uh, stroke guide on, on the magic class, under this one, you, or I'm passing around, you can see that there's a little circle. You don't have to do a circle like that, but it go, it's in the air. <coughs> and then go, go down. Sometimes it's typically exposed, sometimes goes back, back up. So this is a vertical stroke. It should be, make, let me make the stroke bigger. Okay, that's a, that's a vertical stroke. It's useful when you do the bamboo, Bamboo stock, uh, you you can do it from upside down, uh, but still you, you have the stops, the piles and the dots. You know, um, this is a vertical one. You can make the vertical one with a exposed. This is called exposed tip, so you gradually lift it. And you should have when you do this, there should be a stop in the air, so you don't uh, pour over too 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 loose. You know. Mm. You, you, you should have, let me show you the movement. Some, some, you, oh. you, yeah, you just stop in the, in the air, somewhere here. You don't just let it go too far. If you do that, if you do this, it will be like a, a rat tail, we call that. That's a, that's a don't. Yeah. don't. Don't do the rat tail. The dot, if the dot is too uh, heavy, that will be a, a we call it a crane or heron joint, uh, leg joint. That's not good. Also, if you do this like a, we call also call this a, the nail head is not good. It should be um, more organic. You know, part like a not just the bone has some muscle in it. So it, that's the power. If you, it's not powerful if you just do. This is not a. a Powerful stroke. If you do this on bamboo, we see we see that's a weak stroke. The the good stroke should be more rounded. Rounded. No 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 yeah, no no roughness, right? It's, it has not only the uh, bone, the muscle, it also has blood <laughs> in it. The moisture is considered blood. You know, in painting, you might got dry, it got flying, flying white. That's okay, but uh, don't try to, to purposely uh, do. You know, I see Western artists like think Chinese uh, brush is like this. Yes. You know, that that's yes. wrong. We call that a uh, weak stroke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, you you think like that's a, a powerful stroke? We like to do that. Yeah. You. Yes. you this is a, first of all. What's wrong is you use the brush this way. We should oh. use this way. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So when you do the leg of the uh, mo uh, the monkey riding a crane, you should hold the brush this and use the bone stroke. The we call it a tip concealed, tip centered stroke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, it, the brush is hold straight. Yeah. And you can you should hide the tip tip concealed, right? Like that. So Any, yeah. is, it, is the crane's leg? joint bad or good? Bad. 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 It, it should have joint like this if you do 
brain joint. Uh, you should have a joint like this. This is good. This is okay. If you do the crown crown joint like 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 this, oh, th yeah, that yeah. that's too over. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Crown joint look like maybe look like that, but um, traditionally they just use this as a bad example. It could be good with a you know with a little pause like. It has to have a joint. If you if you don't have a joint, that's not good, right? Yeah. So you should have paths between sections of the leg. Okay. Um, the let me see if I have a space. The other stroke, one, two, three. We have three strokes. And we can consider actually two strokes: the dot, the horizontal, the vertical. Now the slant. Um, Drives slower than LA. LA drives faster. <laughs> Maybe the humidity is different. Okay, the slant uh, stroke to the left. It's like a sword. You 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 dot always start with the same kind of dot like like that, and then you gradually sweep to the left, gradually lift it, so pressing and lift lift. Then stop in the middle like that. So you mm -hmm. just like this is similar to you do a bamboo leaf, bamboo leaf uh, under you know like like that, right? Or even this one. It doesn't matter which direction, but uh, it's uh, it's it's a little bit uh, like a side side brush stroke. That the the tip is is on one side when you lift it on the upper side, but you can also do it uh, vertically. You don't have to slant the brush. To do it, maybe Japanese have a different uh, approach. They tend to more use the the side. So the side, is, uh, the brush stays on top. We keep it in the middle all the time, until till the end. You gradually lift it like a knife or sword. But uh, on the top part, it's still in the middle. The tip is centered, concealed, centered, not not exposed. Uh, okay, and uh, the last stroke is most difficult. I will show. This one is called a press, a press or, or down stroke to the right. Okay, this one you start from a little dot, not uh, uh, too big, but still you you don't want to expose the tip. You kind of hide a little bit, like that, and then goes down. And Lift the brush gradually along the top side. This is uh, this is. I twist the brush while I twist the crosswise crosswise while I pull. Uh, so it's a combination of uh, twisting. There may be different approaches. My approach is twisting and pulling together to get that and concentrate on top. So this uh, bottom part, uh, the tip is along the top side when you when you finish. See, see it again. I, this is the uh, stroke. You, it takes most of the brush uh, to do it. You, you may press up to two thirds, <laughs> two thirds, yeah, and then kind of like that. Is it, that's a very, very hard stroke. Yeah, this is the most. That's why you need this this yeah. material to practice. If you practice this, uh, if, if you pass this, you may need uh, three years of practice. <laughs> <laughs> There's no brush that can help you. <laughs> you have to, you have to learn how to use the hold the brush right. Once you know that, you you can do it uh, with left hand or if you hold it uh, uh, wrong, you know you can still do it. But you, some some uh, some artists uh, fix all the fingers and the wrist. They use only arm, they can still do it. But for me, I use finger too. Uh, art like a painter use more fingers, but uh, calligrapher use more wrist and the arm. I think it, it depends on your your um, personal preference. So it, yeah, you you can see it again. This is almost like the fish tail with with it. If you know the fish tail, yeah, uh, pull it along the side. It's very easy. Right? If you know this stroke, uh, fish tail is not a big deal. Yeah. But this is straight, isn't it? See the the fish tail uh, we did like this. And I pull it like that, like that. But that, that's a little—it's easier than this one. But this, this one, 
It's like so you use use the bottom of the brush to get the, the thickness, and then you you kind of lift it along one side. That that's the idea, like fishtail pressing stroke. Yeah, you have to you have to really press it hard. Not not uh, in calligraphy, you don't have to press all the way to the heel, but in in painting we can do that. Um, you can also cheat on, on this. Uh, just roll it. Roll, you know, instead of pushing, just if you have a small brush, roll it. And then just, that's a fishtail uh, stroke. Um, how do you like this material? It, it's very relaxing. Um, they have a company built this on a board called Buddha board. You can cut, uh, it, uh, cut them and then use the silicone paper to mount on a board. You can mount several. Um, yeah. Yeah. If you want to practice your strokes every day, that's the easy way to do it. Yeah, you save a lot of paper. And this feels like a rice paper if it is on table because I got some soft, I didn't stretch it. Yeah. Was it the whole thing used to court one that I have? It was court rather than a paper bag. They used a paper bag before. Now it's the third generation already. The, the, the yellow one is the second generation. It used to be black. Now they have this nice pattern on the back. But it, 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 they keep, you know, technique, uh, technology keeps you, uh, improving. Yeah, so you can, you, you can see from paper to cloth and to different backing. And, uh, the, the surface is becoming whiter now. They used to be dark gray. Yeah, white yeah. gray with black background. Yeah, <coughs> you can also practice the composition with this, like uh, you know the. The brush, I misunderstood the, the brush and the sheet go around. Oh, this is supposed to be water. Yeah, almost like a bamboo painting. So it's very inspiring. Um, when, when, yes. One thing you need to do is if you see something good, take a picture, otherwise it will disappear. Yeah. Okay? Ready for the monkey? Maybe you should be okay. I was supposed to because the monkey is on, t on, on the top of the crane and the, uh, behind the windag is in front. The crane should be done okay. after. But you can also done the, do the crane first. Compositionally, uh, that should be considered. <coughs> so let me do. Uh, I think it, I, what I did was this. I think I did the crane first. Because I can tell from the darkness of the ink. I always start from the dark part. Uh, you, if you do the crown first, you need to save room for the monkey. So you don't do a complete back. If you use light ink, it does, probably doesn't matter. The dark gray will cover that. So you kind of... Uh, uh, this one should be a little up. So this, one, this is the wing. It's like that. The shoulder. So this is the back. Right? And the, this is the thigh. And you can put this on tail here. Uh, don't follow me, just watch me for now. Okay, this is the joint, the bent leg. Don't bend the other way, you bend like <laughs> this, not the neck. How do you call that? You bend the yeah, human bend. The human bend. Oh, human bend. oh not the human bend. It's a, Bird band, yeah, band this way forward, right? Yeah, and uh, this one could be a little straighter. Uh, you can go like walking, you know, uh, like that. If you don't have room, but plan ahead, just give yourself enough room. And then the, the this is a hard part. You need to use calligraphy skills. Mm -hmm. Start uh, start from a dot and then. Uh, pull back to the to the leg, and then you add a little dot to it. That's the the hard part. For me, I I, I think it, it sometimes it's too big or too small, but uh, it's okay. You know, just uh, try your best. <coughs> and then uh, this is the the crown. Crown has a red 
a red crown. Okay, it's uh, surrounded by by dark mask with the eye, and then this this part will be the, the red. I outline it because I don't want to use color on the magic class. <laughs> okay, and uh, you can you can go from uh, either inside or outside, uh, inside or outside. In. So this is the the beak, uh, the nose. Yeah. Okay. And then not not the monkey. Okay. The monkey we we will do this uh, red face first. Uh, the red face is like a a dot, uh, like quotation, quotation mark on the right side, you know. And then we do a C, a C with a thicker stroke. Uh, that is smear, you know. This is like a hair. Um, it doesn't matter. Then you use dark ink. Uh, I mean, not finish it. So you do the, uh, the the bigger C kind of stroke for the body. Then the four um, limbs, an arm and legs. Okay, the shoulder. There's no leg with monkey, so you be careful. Uh, this is the left arm. So sorry, Jiffy. It's okay. You can still see that. Okay, this one um, it should be a little like that, and then this leg in front of the crane. Like that. The hands are foot, uh, and foot. This one you only see one side. Right? So then you can you can you can draw some feather. I mean fur like that. <laughs> um, the ear is like E, letter E. So, uh, the in reversed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, let me do it just here. The the details of the the. Eye and the nose is just like that. So you put you put in in the in the red, red wet into wet, but not too wet. Maybe to the you can put dot on the edge. It's a side view. A little dot for the nose. This is the the face, the monkey face. Okay. See that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now the the hand. The thumb and the four fingers should be separate, just like human. So just like that. So the fingers it should be a little longer. Some little bend, okay. And uh, this one, uh, a side view or something, just be some here, okay. And uh, we've got it right now. You can see it. Okay, not the foot is. Um, is it's longer, but also like a um, the hand has a thumb on this mm -hmm. side, a short, very short thumb. <laughs> toe, 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 in the, in the uh, toe fingers. What do you call that? Big toe. Big toe and the small toes. Okay, let me do it here. Big toe and the long toes. Why like? They have five. Five. Yeah. Just like a human. Yeah, yeah, like a thumb. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. Hand or yeah. hand foot is similar, very similar. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to do it in ink now. Okay, before we start painting, let me talk about the symbolism. Uh, first of all, the monkey is the, one of the 12 animals, zodiac animals. Uh, in Chinese uh, uh, calendar, so uh, this year is the fire monkey. Uh, you can count every twelve years. There's a monkey. Yeah, and the uh, monkey is, is a, a symbol of a, a very smart, very intelligent, very uh, active. <laughs> yeah, very energetic. Kind of uh, animal, uh, everybody loves that. The most famous monkey is the monkey king. You know that? Uh, general, gen, general to the west. This is a Chinese classic. Uh, in that story, they went to the west, uh, I think India, uh, with a monk. He, he was protector of uh, 
guard, you know, monk of a monk. monk. Yeah, to, 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 right, you know, that's like, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they tried to, and he, he steal the peach uh, uh, in, the, in the heaven, uh, in palace, right, somewhere, to, so it became immortal. Anyway, so he, he, he's a very um, kind of disobedient uh, follower of the monk, so he got, occasionally he got punished, something like that. But eventually he, got, he always got escaped and, and he's useful to, he's very able to do all the things to fight the uh, monsters. Uh, anyway, the, the monkey character, and uh, we use that here as a messenger of a good wish. There are three wishes in this painting. First was longevity, symbolized by the crane he is riding on, mm -hmm. and uh, also carried uh, with a gold. Gold is a symbol of uh, Chinese medicine, uh, just like a treasure container, mm -hmm. you know, case, treasure case, uh, contains a good longevity elixirs and <laughs> things like that. Uh, so the, uh, you see, always the immortal carries the gold, like that is the four immortals. One of them was a mm -hmm. doctor and carries the gold. Okay, and uh, on the back I added a um, contemporary a, a cash box because someone <laughs> in the uh, New Year's event that I did this one in American Kana Mall in uh, in February, right? It was in February, I think. Chinese New Year event. Uh, the customer will request something very uh, challenging. He she asked me to do the symbol of whales, so she want health, longevity, and the wealth. So I said, I can do maybe gold, Angus, uh, what do you call this, gold? Yeah. Bullion. Bullion, yeah. Gold bullion or gold bullion. Bullion. Good, like, bullion. Yeah, gold coin. In Ingus, yeah. Ingus, yeah. Ingus, Chinese Ingus. called Ingus. <coughs> and uh, make, do a big Ingus. Do you like Ingus or better or uh, American greens? <laughs> 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 Dollars. Dollars. Gold is the uh, ca I mean, the king, right? Cash is the king. Yes. More gold, right? Yeah. <laughs> you want to do the gold? <laughs> the gold standard. Gold standard. Yeah. So I, I, yeah, we can change that. Whatever you think. Uh, what other symbols of wealth you can do? Um, wealth. How do you interpret that? And whatever. To be creative on that part. I, anyway, I'm going to use uh, this uh, water brush. Whatever I come in hand. Uh, I will do the monkey first, maybe, since uh, we just talked about monkey. I got this uh, Japanese blue ink again. I dilute it with uh, water. Because yeah, so the water is in the brush, so I just... Oh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, in the brush. I just load the ink this way, not in the oh, piston. Okay. And uh, you can see, so I, I fingernail marked the, the crane so I know the monkey where the monkey should be now. So the, the head should be like that. Right here. I give some room for the sky, right? not too tall. Right here. Oh I forgot to do the red first. That should be done first actually. To do the red face. The red face. You you can use vermilion with a little rouge, but I uh, I just use a vermilion, make it easy. So this is a small, you don't have to vary the color too much. Just just like a little dot with a flat face, no nose, just put the jar protruded in the, in the side view. And then, um, so this should be the red, the dark, and then continue with the ink. So I do a little, a dark, large stroke like a C. You can you can then put some fur like uh, fur right hair hair monkey should be just like human uh, okay the the next thing is going to do is uh, this is uh, front uh, left arm holding the crane's head or some put on riding the crane and then this back one, balance it, so one down, one up, and uh, just finish this, this way, bend the knee, and then, uh, not, my ink is kind of dark, so 
to be on the front, this one. Four toes across a, a big toe, and then uh, the hand is a big toe, you cannot bend it short, and then straight. And then this one, the toe is inside. Right? I mean the, the thumb, thumb, thumb inside. Very choreographic. Don't uh, try to depict. It just you know, it's, this is based on Yanni's, uh, uh, inspired by another artist. Uh, now she's at uh, her forties, but uh, she was four when wow. he, she invented this uh, style called Yanni's yeah. Monkeys. And there are four books uh, you can find in English. I collect all of them uh, because uh, I was uh, in college uh, in the 1980 when the government published the stamp with uh, her. She was only four years old. Is she considered a true international treasure? Yeah, she is. She was a genius, a child genius, a prodigy, right? Yeah. So I, I dot the eye now, right on the edge of the red, and then a big smile face, just half of the smiling, yeah. like one dot. One, one little bit. So I use this. Uh, um, I just use these yeah. two colors first. So I'm going to do the the crown, uh, the crown dot first, and then I draw the eye under it with a half circle. And you can put a little mask, and then I draw this uh, this uh, mouth. I'm not mask. Big, big. Um, oh, I already did it. <laughs> should be under. Happy un accident. Uh, should be under the, under the eye. Okay. And then the nose could be there. You, know, you don't. If you have room, to, it's a long. That's a short dash. Kind of. Now I, I use this side brush to get this uh, white uh, bald stroke. The neck, it's uh, black, actually partially par 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 black, mostly in the, in the front of the neck. So this, uh, just go very bald. I can, you, you know, it, it, it's kind of a, uh, if you miss it, you can kind of go back with the same brush mm -hmm. so before it uh, gets too late. Yeah. We can stroke. Yeah, go pull back. Okay, and then um, use light ink because my ink just I just load enough to finish the dark part, not become light. I just keep drawing with that, and there's a little. It's kind of. Let me dry it with a paper towel. This is a nice type of towel, save it. <laughs> Someone bring it here from home. Do you know that I love this? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I just try it. The white crayon, you should use light gray, not too dark. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just kind of like that. It goes, it goes up and it goes down. Some feather. Now, uh, you don't have to do the uh, details, just let me see. I, when the, the light is finished, I'm going to change ink. Uh, okay, let me change to dark again. Dry the brush so that it's not going to smear. So you can try it here because it, you can always cover up if it's not correct. Now the next. I will put a weight on one leg. That's a classical pose. You can go outside the frame a little bit. This one, and then this will a little bend 
Oh, actually, she did the two, two legs with a little kind of triangle. Anyway, I, I changed it. It's behind. Um, mm -hmm. so we cover it up. <coughs> Uh, it's kind of hard to cross this, mm -hmm. so I avoid the just hard cross. It. Just, just leave it. it. Just leave it, yeah. yeah. Leave that. Until it dries out, the other side it dries out. Looks good in the bag. Oh, no, no, it yeah. looks good that way. Okay. Thank you. For, for <laughs> the, so I learn from students all the time. Yeah. Okay, so stop before you... We never know our place. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we, we, we have to add the treasure. Treasures. Treasures. Uh, yeah, I, I outlined the gold first. If I still have room for that, in front of the monkey and the between monkey and the <coughs> So she's very imaginative to do this. I think it's some someone like her father taught. Yes, her that's that. probably he was pushing she, it. Yeah, he, he's a very He's a, a failed artist himself. He became full-time agent and teacher yeah. of his <laughs> daughter and travel with her. But life might, might have gotten in the way. You know, children, yeah. husband, yeah. running a household. Yeah. So we just do that. And uh, I'll do a gold. I don't know how it will fit, but I mean just something like that. Ingus or something. Is that something like that? Could you paint it? Could it be a money bag, don't no. you think? It could be a money bag. Yeah. Whatever. It is. Oh, as soon as you put that dollar sign on it, we'll know what it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> dollar sign. One, one, uh, one, or two. two Are we two. just two? Two. One S, two bars. Two yes. bars. Yes. Can we make it. Fringe down the top. Oh, like a bag. So you want to like, like a bag, like a like if you're holding you, a bag you of just candy. Give me like oh, the, a bag. I see. A, a book. I I get, yeah, that's a very traditional in China too. A bag. I see. So you tied it. You know, you can just like like tie it. Yeah. Yeah. Fringe it. Just let it let layer out. Whatever. Yeah, that yeah. Works. Okay. So it, it, it's just like a, 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 a carry line there. Yeah. Or a basket. Yeah, yeah, basket. Money yeah, it could be basket. Could be a basket or something. Yeah, just yeah, be creative on, in, on, on that part. I'm going to finish you can with the bills. On, on the foot, around the feet of the... So I, uh, I'm using a little gray, I mean blue, blue gray to, to wash. I think, uh, or you can just leave it. I think you should just probably leave it. Just, do, you, do, you, do you think I should wash the beak with a gray? No, no. Yeah, it's because it's nice and sharp. Yes. You will be nice with gray? No, it looks nice the way it is, I mean. Yes, oh. it should have gray. Yeah. Should have a gray with a blue, let's see. Because yeah. it adds some color contrast. Yeah. And Henry, come back here and look at your painting. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think uh, we, can, we can do that. Yeah, just uh, with, with light gray. <laughs> Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I'll, I'll add some yellow. Yellow with. Uh, huh? I can yeah. have chunk, chunk yellow here. Yellow. Uh, chunk yellow. You can add a little bit orange to it, to all green. Whatever. Just, then just keep it light. Maybe we can see it behind. Yeah. And uh, what about bag? Just green? Uh, no, no, no more green. Mm. Just a yellow, a brown, brown. 
Mm -hmm. I add some ink to the yellow on the ground, like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of gold. But no leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon is into that, right? Chinese leprechaun. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, no, the Irish go all over, you know, that. The best export of Ireland is the Irish. I think that, that anyway. Um, so I put a little yellow to the eye also. This is my my own style maybe. Um, so no 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 left leg, right leg. Well, it's not like good. It's <laughs> hidden in the clouds. In the, yeah, I think it's, it's movement, <laughs> just blurry. I think it's it's better without it. You can try. It, it could destroy it. It might, very, it might yeah. be too much work. Mm -hmm. You know, it, yeah. the economy of lines. I, I, I know it, yeah. it's very hard to make two leg, two feet, uh, uh, come, you know, the overlapping is very hard. Does the monkey have an ear? Yeah. 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 Yeah.